In recent weeks, with each passing day, our excitement for Samsung's upcoming Z Fold 6 grows thanks to a plethora of leaks. A reliable source has now reported yet another intriguing rumor, suggesting that Samsung is preparing a Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra to launch alongside with the standard Fold 6, rather than a Galaxy Z Fold 6 FE, as was previously speculated. This had me thinking, how could Samsung differentiate between the regular Fold and the Ultra-branded one? And could the Fold 6 Ultra bring something that the regular Fold 6 won't have? Let's talk about it. Naturally, bear in mind that because neither of these two phones has been released yet, everything I'm discussing here is based on leaks and rumors. Now, what would make the Z Fold 6 Ultra so special? 1. S Pen Slot Eye-widening specifications have much of room to be added, making a possible Z Fold 6 Ultra appealing. To start, like say, the Galaxy S24 Ultra, many Samsung fans have desired a S Pen slot, though opinions on this topic vary. Nevertheless, the stylus is not located anywhere on the Fold 5, the company's flagship foldable device. That's potentially one area where Samsung may go to increase the value of the Ultra Fold 6 when compared to the regular Fold. I'll talk about the drawbacks of this scenario later on. Now, moving on to 2. Camera 200 megapixels coming to blow you away. The camera is another area that may benefit from improvements. Samsung might utilize the fact that its foldables have not yet included ultra-grey cameras, such as a 200 megapixels primary sensor, as an additional means of making the Z Fold 6 Ultra particularly eye-catching. Previous rumors suggested that the 200 megapixels primary camera from the S24 Ultra would be included with the Z Fold 6. Nevertheless, other reports refuted these rumors saying the Fold 6 will have a 50 megapixels main camera similar to the one seen on the regular S24. Now, here's a twist. Usually, rumors and leaks are either correct or incorrect. However, with the recent development and the potential Fold 6 Ultra, this rumor may end up incorrect and correct at the same time. Yep, the regular Fold may indeed get a 50 megapixels camera, but the Ultra could get that rumored 200 megapixels one. Ultimately, the Fold 6's three rear-facing cameras are limited to 50 megapixels primary plus 10 megapixels, zoom plus 12 megapixels ultra-wide. Whereas the S24 Ultra boasts four cameras, 200 megapixels primary, 12 megapixels ultra-wide, 10 megapixels zoom for three times, and 50 megapixels zoom for five times. 3. Battery. Could a bigger Fold 6 Ultra fit a 5000 mAh battery cell? According to rumors, the Fold 6 may have better battery performance than the Fold 5 to 4,600 mAh battery versus 4,400 mAh. Samsung is kind of prevented from putting in a larger battery because the Fold needs to be as thin as possible. After all, it's a foldable and it's already thick because, you know, it folds. Although the phone's battery life isn't the worst, you can always say that there's room for improvement. Four. Will a Fold 6 Ultra be too expensive for most people? I can see a couple of drawbacks in all the improvements I listed for a potential Fold 6 Ultra. The first one is the most important one. How much will such a beast cost? The possible cost of the Fold 6 Ultra has not been revealed through leaks. It's difficult to imagine the price difference between the standard Fold and an Ultra Edition being as little as $50 or less given the improved camera and any other features Samsung decides to add to make it stand out. Probably a price difference of at least $100 will be on the table. Or more. If you look at the S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra, we have the former starting at $999.99 and the latter at $1,299.99. That's $300 of a difference. As for the regular S24 and the Ultra, we have $500 of a difference in prices. The pricing may vary depending on whether Samsung views the Fold 6 Ultra as a plus phone or as a vanilla phone in comparison to the regular Fold 6. Accordingly, the price of the Ultra might range from $2,299 to about $2,099, assuming that the regular Fold 6 stays at the same $1,799 pricing as the Fold 5. Remember that these are only conjectures, of course. However, I think that a foldable phone will still be bulkier than a standard phone, 
regardless of how thin it is. It's becoming nearly impossible to carry a conventional phone in your pocket these days, yet people are preferring huge phones regardless. Thus, given what you get, perhaps a little bit extra bulk wouldn't hurt. All things considered, the Galaxy Fold 6 Ultra seems like a pretty promising device, and it will be interesting to see if this rumor turns out to be accurate. It appears that we may not have to wait too long, as there have been reports that the foldables may be released earlier this year, possibly on July 10. See if I turn out to be right. So, let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to stay tuned for more updates on our channel. Until next time, take care, and peace out.